Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And welcome to Artsy has a lot of things to do, so she's turning it into a video. So I've had pieces on my side table here forever that I need to finish. If you saw the Artsy Madhouse tour, those pieces that I was like, oh, I put these here to like remind myself to finish them. No. <laughs> That's, if I'm being honest, that's where they go to be forgotten. No, but like I do put them there to try to remind myself and then I just, I, there's no time. I really would love to be a vampire so that I just didn't have to sleep because I just, it's a waste of time. <laughs> so I have a bunch of pieces that are basically like finished. They just need to be top coated and I feel like one of the internet's most favorite things is peely things like satisfying peels and I also thought this would be a really cool opportunity to show you guys like how I would dome something I don't know if you've heard that term before you know within the resin world but there is like I don't know if it's like a certain style of top coating but it's a way to top coat a piece where it's like sort of domed a little bit and it's like a really beautiful I'm gonna say it juicy top coat where it makes it just look just I'm not gonna say it again. It makes it look really pretty, really like finished and nice, like just a nice rounded finish, especially on pieces like this that are like trays. So you can dome this part here and then we'll do a little layer on the inside as well to finish off the whole thing. So I remember when I mentioned peelies at the beginning of this, more often than not, I am using liquid latex on the bottom of the pieces. That way the resin that drips over the sides goes to the bottom and gets stuck to the liquid latex and then you can peel it off it is fantastic so the liquid latex that i use is the monster liquid latex i get this from amazon it is super cheap i will link it down in the description and then the only other thing that i use is popsicle sticks to like spread the stuff around we're going to start by painting a layer of liquid latex on the bottom of all of these pieces i don't know why i said it that way but i did so we're going to start with the two hearts and like i said these are like little you know, like ring dishes. So I'm gonna get my gloves on. Okay, we're ready, we are gloved. So I'm gonna flip them over because obviously we wanna paint the liquid latex on the back. So I'm gonna take my liquid latex, look at how disgusting the top part of this is. Also, if you hear a lawnmower, it's because there's a lawnmower outside. I'm gonna pour just a bit of this in the very middle. So what I'm doing is from the center, I'm just kind of like pushing it to the very edges, but making sure that I'm not pushing it over the edge. Also, the reason that I pour so much, like you might be thinking like, dang girl, that's a lot of liquid latex. It's because it honestly is. The first time that I used liquid latex, I did kind of a thinner layer and it just ripped and it wasn't able to like pull the resin up because it wasn't like thick enough and strong enough to pull up the resin. So I found that pouring like kind of a glob of it in the middle and then spreading it out like this is the best way to be able to pull the resin up. Ta-da! So I do, I do cover the whole bottom. You could just kind of maybe like dribble some around the edges of the piece. Other than having to put liquid latex like over the entire bottom, you don't have to do that. Um, especially since, you know, resin's never going to get in the very middle. That is one heart done and I'm just going to take this and move it off to the side and let it dry on its own. I don't want to bump it or anything. So I'm going to do this one really quick. So we have a crescent moon. I'm gonna flip it over. All right, we're gonna pour, whoa, liquid latex. All right, she went a little crazy. She did, okay? I know that you're like, oh my God. Get our popsicle stick and start pushing it towards the edges. So there is our first crescent moon, fully liquid latex. 
connected. So now we've got this moon. This was that color changing moon that I did in a recent video. I'm gonna flip it over and then we're gonna pour less liquid latex than I did on the last moon. All right, so that is the second crescent moon done. All right, so the last couple of things that we have are these two skeleton hands. So this is the front, and so I'm gonna flip them over. Pour some liquid latex in the very middle. We're gonna spread it out. So we're gonna do the second skeleton hand. We goofed. I goofed. Everything is falling apart. I've gotten liquid latex all over this thing. Okay. All right, so that was a catastrophe. Um, uh, we're gonna pour <laughs> liquid latex on the back of this skeleton hand and we're not gonna get it anywhere else besides the skeleton hand. All right, so everything has a nice thick coat of liquid latex on the back. This guy is still leaking and that's just what he wants to do, so I'm gonna let him do it. And then we've also got the other skeleton hand. So everything is gonna be drying. So with this thick of a layer of liquid latex, I am gonna have to let it dry for quite a while. So I think I'm just gonna leave it overnight and then tomorrow we'll come back and top coat these pieces. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the top coat. All right, so it is the next day and the liquid latex is completely dry. So we're gonna flip everything over like this. So I'm gonna mix up some top coating resin and then I will be back to you guys. Hey guys, voiceover artsy mad woman is here to guide you through the top coating process. So I really, for these ones, I was just kind of doming them. So the resin is not going to go over the edges of these like skeleton hands. Uh, so I just poured a little bit of top coating resin right in the middle and we're spreading it out with some silicone tools and I'm just pushing the resin right up to the edges. So I'm not pushing it over. I'm trying really hard to just coat the very top of these pieces. If you wanted to though, you could coat the whole piece. If you have a piece like this, you could definitely coat the whole thing and have the resin go over the edges. I just figure I like coating an entire piece, even the edges when the piece has rounded edges, but when the piece has kind of like sharp edges like these ones do, I like to dome them. So now we gonna do the same thing for the peace sign skeleton hand. Put a little dollop of resin right in the middle. Spread that resin out to the edges with your silicone tools and that is how I would dome these. So for the trays, I do put a little bit of top coating resin right in the middle just so everything is kind of the same kind of glossy look. So again, I'll pour a little bit in the middle and then I'll spread it out with my skill my skillet. Yeah, my silicone tools. <laughs> So for doming edges of trays like this, I use a little pipette like this, 
and I'll get resin into the pipe and I'll like pipe resin onto the very edge of the tray with the little like pipette thing. So I'm just squirting resin onto the very edge of the tray and then I'll take my silicone tool and I'll spread it out to the edges. Again, trying really hard to not get, are those John's legs? <laughs> trying really hard to not get resin over the edges or inside the tray because you just want that really nice like rounded top edge. So I'm just squirting some on and then using silicone tools to make sure that it meets up with all the edges and it's nice and rounded. Moving on to this moon piece. So this moon has rounded edges. You'll see that I did sand the edges a little bit. So I am coating the whole thing, including the sides. For this though, I was getting very nervous that my resin was curing a little too fast. So it is on the gloppy side. I was, I was, I was very nervous <laughs> about this piece. You'll see that the resin, like I'm trying to spread it around and it's like, nah, no, we too sticky. So I don't know, stick around for the end to see how this turned out. I'm honestly surprised with how it turned out, but it, it was a sticky mess, but it is kind of nice to watch the resin like drip off the sides. Oh, isn't that so nice? Oh my God. So continuing on the panic train, um, I'm pulling in pieces just like really quick, not really caring about shots because the resin was getting very thick and very goopy. So I'm pouring, this is another tray and I'm pouring resin right in the middle. You'll see that it's like my silicone tool is like, this is not happening. I'm trying to spread it around. It's not working. It's, it was so thick it was kind of scary in the moment. <laughs> so since I couldn't spread this around with tools, what I ended up doing was pouring resin in and then picking the piece up and kind of tilting it so that the resin would kind of coat the whole bottom on its own, but it was still so thick and so scary. Like I thought, in the moment I thought I'd ruin these. All right, so it is the next day and uh, when am I gonna learn that this uh, top coat just, it cures in like two seconds which is great, but also it started getting goopy. It started getting hot, hot as heck. It was, it was just not cute. Uh, and I'm sure you guys saw in those clips that I was getting frantic and started just like <laughs> pouring it all around, trying to finish anything that I could. And honestly, I did, which I'm so surprised by. Usually when these situations happen, I fail. Like I just like F across the board, but I was able, look at this ridiculousness, I was able to top coat this with the goopy resin. I'm so surprised that it cured so smooth like this. Like, so that's gonna be amazing to peel the liquid latex off of the back of where I failed or where I actually didn't get to was these two pieces, this moon piece and this heart piece. So I was able to pour some top coat in the very like middle parts of these two pieces, but I wasn't able to dome the edges because it was just way too thick and I thought that if I did it, it would just create this mess that I wouldn't be able to fix. The one piece that I was able to dome was this heart and oh my God, look at that. This edge is rounded and just so pretty and perfect. It looks like smooth and I know you guys hate the word, but juicy. Maybe this is like a blessing in disguise because I can show you the like difference. So you can see that this one is kind of like a flat edge and then this one is like nice and rounded on that top edge. And it's also obviously top coated, so it's like shiny and glossy, whereas the other one, it's shiny, but it's not like rounded and perfect the way that the other one is. So right here, like this tiny little like imperfection here, when I came in today, there was a teeny tiny 
little fly that had landed in the top coat, like right here. What, what, what are the odds? It's such a tiny little area, come on. So I literally used my tweezers and I picked it out. It sounds horrible, but I had to. And then there was like a little like divot, like a little hole. And I used UV resin, like filled the hole with UV resin and then just cured it with one of my UV lights. You can't even, you can't even tell, right? It's like right here. Can't even tell. So what I am gonna do is just very quickly, I'm gonna take a little bit of top coating resin and we're gonna do the very outer edges of these two pieces that I wasn't able to do yesterday. So we're gonna get started <laughs> on mixing up some top coating resin and then we're gonna dome those edges. And then I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> It's the next day and still some mistakes were made. I feel like this is like the third day in a row where a mistake. Okay, the fly wasn't my fault though. Okay, let's all just acknowledge. Stop the telling her it's her fault. <laughs> the fly wasn't my fault. The, the, we're gonna talk about some things, but I invited Sean to have some satisfying peelies with me. That sounds weird. So Sean just peeled the liquid latex off of the back of this one. I was trying to film a close up and then I wasn't filming. I'm professional, we're all professional around here, but so here's a shot of our rock and roll skeleton hand all domed and beautiful. So I'm gonna peel the liquid latex off of this one. Kind of just like roll my fingers around the edges and peel it up. Ooh, that is so satisfying. Wow. What? I really thought that right finger would break. Doubted me. I did. Didn't you? No shame. No shame. <laughs> you should be ashamed. So here is the peace sign skeleton hand, and I'm gonna show you guys a close-up shot of what it looks like, domed and perfect. So now we're gonna do this little heart tray, which honestly, to me, this is the best one out of all of them. Yeah. But we're gonna peel the liquid latex off the back of this. Again, no resin like got on the back, but it's just kind of like a protective thing to make sure that no resin that could have leaked over got onto the back. So it just kind of protects it. Ooh, yes. Ah. So here is the heart. I'm gonna show you a better close-up shot of this because. It is so glossy. So we're gonna peel the liquid latex off of this. 
And there was a little bit of leakage on this one because there's like a little bead of resin here at the corner. Ooh, this one's gonna be so satisfying. So right here at the corner, you might be able to see a little bit of resin did leak like over into the actual tray part. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, sometimes that happens if you fill the edges too much and it's like too high, it will kind of like leak over into the tray or like over the sides as well. So that did kind of happen on this corner and all I have to do really is just like a very thin layer of resin again like another top coat right in the center here which is honestly fine for these ones because these orange pieces this one and the heart one a couple of pieces where I had to like just dump resin in even though it was getting really hot and it was kind of gloppy so I don't know if you'll be able to see it maybe like in the light but the finish on the very like inside of the piece is like sort of wavy like the texture isn't perfectly smooth, which it didn't bother me at first, but I guess this is just an opportunity to put another layer and make it like perfectly flat. So it was meant to be. Here is a better shot of this piece all finished with the rounded edges. So we're going to do the orange heart. Ta-da! And that little bit of resin that was right at the corner of the heart is gone because liquid latex is amazing. So this piece as well, like I said, with the moon, the orange moon, we did get a little bit of like resin that just leaked over and went into the tray. So the edges again are super rounded. I'm sure you guys are getting sick of me saying that. Here's a close up shot of this piece as well with the, <laughs> with the rounded edges. The finale. Look how messy the edges of this are because this is just like sticking off. We've got a little bit here. If I turn it this way, you'll be able to see like all these drippies that just happened on the other side of this. Like this is a mess. So I thought I would leave this as kind of the, <laughs> the finale. So we switched up the angle so you guys can really get a gander of what this looks like. You've been defeated. Okay, so all the liquid latex is peeled off. I thought that the moon was gonna be a lot more satisfying than it was, but honestly it still was because seeing how it, how it looked and how much resin had kind of accumulated literally all around the edges, if I hadn't put liquid latex on there, it could have ruined the piece entirely. I would have had to like really sand the bottom and get all of that resin off, so it could have been a lot worse than it was so in that way knowing that it could have been a lot worse it still was satisfying so we got all the resin off it's completely like it's as if nothing happened and the top coat on this is 
lit like it's perfection look at those beautiful rounded edges and this was like a last second pour too like i was not sure when i was pouring the top coat on this that it was going to be okay so here's a close-up shot of this moon all top coated I'm obsessed like I don't even want to put this down yeah it's a weapon at the same time as it's pretty yeah. so I feel like this was the perfect way the most fun way for me to be able to finish these pieces and I feel like there were mistakes along the way so there were also lessons in those the names of them yeah. <laughs> those mistakes uh, so I feel like this is a great video I'm, pr I'm proud of it so thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it and that it helps you I don't know make no make no mistake <laughs> zero mistakes made after watching this video <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it make sure you give this video a like subscribe to my channel and follow me on literally everywhere it is at artsy madwoman i'll put it right over his face i love you guys to absolute death and i'll see you in the next video goodbye, goodbye.